on guys so uh, I'm Jeff from Apex Flip and currently I'm trying to do a little bit of uh, review not to say review unboxing to be very frank and today we are going to unbox Mi Box alright so this is a new uh, could say similar to E-Grip or Pillar Box but there's something, everything is inside. Uh, it comes with a 10 ml tanks and uh, RBA, and you can use back uh, those OCC from Kanga Tech. And why don't we just check it out and see what do we have, they have to offer? Alright. So, this knee box comes with a similar packaging with. Some box, not the this plastic. Previously was a cardboard, now it's a plastic. So you get this, okay. And once we open, and we see the glorious red mini box. Oh yeah, by the way, this box here it has a little bit of texture. It's something different than what you usually get from. Uh, any of those uh, devices or uh, pack standard packaging, those glossy packaging, alright. So this new box and wow, it's quite big, alright. So there's your tech five ten connection, two button, the uh, three buttons, one fire button, two up and down, your charging port, alright, then your screen. Okay, so this is your 10 ml tank. 10 freaking ml tank. 10 milliliter tank. Yes, your standard 30 ml. Alright, will be probably takes three times to your standard 30 ml liquid. Three times. You to use this. I would say you need to really, really decide what kind of liquid you like. Alright, don't because 10 ml tank is not gonna finish within a day. I would say two days to finish one. Okay, one day can, not, not to say can, alright. It's just, um, I, do, I won't do 10 ml per day. I'll probably do a 5 ml per day, not 10. Alright, so. Let's continue. What do we have inside the box? Alright, so you get this uh, some sort of like a manual. A manual. Alright. Sticker for your batteries. So to look as same as uh, the logo. Black and red, the team, not to say the logo, to follow exactly the team. So this is your security check. This is your user using guide for the liquid, alright? And everything else is more or less similar than the box. Only this time the the cable is red, alright? They give you another they give you a, another extra OCC. Later we'll go on to it, alright? And well, this is the standard. RBA, Mini RBA Plus, which the same as Sub Tank, Subox, it uses the same one, alright? So, theori theoretically, you can use the same OCC. Despite the look of the OCC, this is what they give now. Let me check where is my OCC for Kanga Tank. Okay. This is what Subox and Sub Tank uses. This is what Nibox uses. Both, one is a round one, one is a square one. But, it's the same damn thing from the bottom. So, theoretically, yes, you can use it. Alright, so, we'll just open this up. I bet there is another, yes, there is another OCC inside. 
I think that is the Nikko CC if I'm not mistaken. Yep, this is the this is the Nikko OCC. Alright, this is the Nikko one. And this is the Kenta one. This is Nikko 0 0.15. 0 0.15. I'm not sure if I can focus this on here or not. Alright, this is 0 0.5. So let's put it in. Let's give this a try. Yes, it fits perfectly to be frank. But what would it happen if I insert it inside? Does it connect together? Is it the same length? Is it possible to use this one? Yep, I would say yes. I would say yes, yes. Yep. If you can see inside, now this OCC, this hole here connects to the chamber. Not to say chamber, it's uh, the, the shaft. It connects with the shaft. Right? So, but I'm not going to use OCC anyway. I'm, I'm going to use RBA. And uh, let me give this a try. Right, and I'll do a quick five uh, standard build if you guys don't mind to just watch for a while and I do a quick five quick five rep 26 gauge wire and we'll start everything now okay. Think of what liquid should we give this a try? Oh, it comes with this beautiful. Thing. But I don't really like factories with. I don't. Know. I'm not saying that is it doesn't work well. It works well. It works good, great. But I just don't like it. I'm not sure. I'm not, not to know. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe personal preference, right? So. I'm not actually. I'm not too sure whether to make this video uh, Malay version or English version. But I, I do hope you guys understand uh, the English. I, I what I'm trying to say. Right. And this is it. Now, one more thing. This ain't like the normal soft tank. Okay. So, some people like to give this a fire up with a micro coil, fire up and then pitch everything, then everything together. So, to minimize the hassle, I'm going to build a standard coil. Okay, just a standard coil. Not because I don't have the luxury to do Firing, pinching, arrogant thing. So, yeah. Fairly simple. Usually, I just just take everything out and pinch one everything in and fill it in. Yep. That's it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I'll be using some organic cotton. This is the same cotton from Kangkang. Okay. Little bit too thick. Never mind. Take it by all. 
I'm gonna put it back. You just put everything back. It's true. Yes. Okay. Now, usually I just cut off a little piece of this. I like to let the cotton up a little. I mean, from the. I like it to be fluffy. I like to fluff it, make it everything loose. My, my, my theory is that the, the, when the cotton is loose, the absorption is a little bit better. Well, you can agree to be this again. Not, not, I'm not here to judge anyone's cotton, alright? So, yes. I just do everything that I find it nice, find it also, uh, find it right for me, okay? So, What I like to do is usually I'll just push every cotton to form a singular line. This is my 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 stuff. Alright, so you can use back, you can do back the same way that you used to. You don't have to. You don't have to hundred percent to follow what I'm doing. No worries about that. I, I was not as I say I'm not here to judge how your cotton looks like. Alright, so this is it. I'm not ready to focus up. Alright. So I like to do this. Okay, so what what liquid shall we try? Um what liquid shall I try? I'm not too sure. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be going with one more thing. I'm not gonna put every single thing in. Okay, so filling up this liquid, you just fill from the side. It's a bit of hassle. You have to go in, you have to go in, there's two space there. You just have to go in from the side. Just pull down. I think I just leave it to half. I'm not going to use it at all. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in. Alright, then. Okay, this time I think it's not the same as what I used to have. Not the same as uh, some tanks where I used to leave out 
some cottons out from the from the hole. It doesn't work <laughs> for now. See, it, it, it actually came. It doesn't, doesn't look too well. So I'm going just to push it in a little bit. Not too much. Because I still want the cotton to be out and to cover a little bit of the hole. So, in order not to drown my. Okay, that's what this time works. Okay, fairly works. It's much better now. Let's see it. Yeah. It doesn't go all the I'm not too sure why. As if it stuck there. Let's see if it tells me that it's not going to work. Funny thing, right? Funny. Very funny. Uh, very. Oh, yeah, now. Okay, you have to line up very well you're gonna line up as good as possible then it just goes in a little bit nonetheless let's give it a try just put on this uh, drip tape here oh yeah we forgot about a very 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 important thing oh yeah I'm not too sure if this is correct, then you can't take this at all. So, you only have... Okay, I'm going to try a few drip tips. This is definitely it. Okay? My jig drip tip doesn't go in. Okay, let's find some standard ones. This is from the Bellas. Yep, it goes in. How about GT Typhoons? Typhoons? Yep, it goes in well. So, not all, just a few. Oh yeah, by the way, this uh, knee box actually is uh, 60, 60 watts, alright, and it comes with temperature control, minimum at 0 0.15, titanium and nickel titanium nichrome, alright, Above 1.3 ohm, power doesn't drive to 60 watts. Uh, maximum up to 60 watts again. Okay. Output voltage is 9 volt. Okay, Fahrenheit is 200 Fahrenheit to 600 Fahrenheit. Or 100 degrees to 300 degrees Celsius. That's it. Okay, so... I'm just going to try. Just bear with me for a while. I'm just going to try. I've never tried this before. I just like... Sometimes it's just a pain in the ass to get all this cover because it's all okay. It has this inside to see which direction of the battery, all right, is etched at the contact pin plus sign. So, plus is the positive inside, minus negative. It actually is etched here, all right. So, just do the same thing, alright? Okay, we even before I screw it down, everything's already up and running. 
Okay, it says temperature off. Maybe next time I'll just do a little bit temperature control review soon. Okay, I'll just give this a try. Okay, push down. Alright. Down to 37. Okay, it's the same as what uh, it's the same as sub box where first it goes at 0.1 increment or 0.1 decree decrement, then it will change to one decree or increment. I'm not too sure why it's still 0.16 I mean it's just a nickel it's not even nickel it's chemical wire and and it's funny it's 0 0.16 I'm not too sure why and let's see if there is any state to can I select Okay. No, there's nothing. Ah, no I just go ahead and try to get it Fourteen watts. Not sure which. Tell what, I'm gonna unscrew it again. The RBA part. Okay, and screw back in to let it detect. New look. Yes. Yeah, 0 0.63, so I'm going to use it at 18 months. The airflow is not bad. The airflow is not bad. And it's not very, very heavy at all. I kind of like this actually. I don't have my e grip and billet box with me right now. I'm gonna do a little bit comparison as well. Decent vape. I mean, I I'm not really a clock chaser, but I when I do clock chasing, I don't use this. I don't use subtech. I don't use any of the tanks. I use stripper a lot, and I do those. Uh, a little bit crazy cause advanced call what you call it guys call it alright but standard wise this is okay it's a bit warm three fire three to four firing is a bit warm alright so I'm gonna wrap this up so this is your knee box alright from Kango Pack and uh, it's available in my shop if I wait and I'm going to sell this 250 ringgit inclusive with battery not LGHE that you saw just now I'm gonna include with a normal battery alright so if you guys are interested I only have a few units I'm only able to get few units just drop by alright see you later guys